Greetings, we from Group Ants would like to talk about the species of ants available at the small hill behind SPTA and to know about which bait do they prefer the most. I, Cassandra, together with my fellow teammates Chai Li Ting, Chi Wei Ling, Chao Cindy, Jaslyn, and Yip Pui Moon will conduct pitfall and bait method. This method was conducted at the hill behind SPTA. Uh, pitfall trapping is commonly used for capturing invertebrates such as ants that active on the ground. As the name suggests, this trap works on the principle that the ants that moving on the ground will simply fall into the open container that has been dug into the ground. This method is suitable for studies of community richness such as the number of species present and also their habitat assessments. Uh, pit Pitfall trapping seems to work better if we use bats to attract their attention. So we use sweet bananas and tuna fish to collect our samples. Uh, now we will show you how to set up the pitfall trapping to collect our samples. Hello, this is another pitfall trap to attract ants using baits. Before we put this container inside the hole, we must put killing agents, killing agents into this container so that bring to the laboratory for further identification. Before we put the bait into this container, there is a hook here, and we put the the killing agent, which is water. We just put just a little so that we can collect the ants later. After that, we put the sugar into this hook. Then we close it put inside this pit hole trap. There are other baits that we are using, which is banana and also tuna. This will be used in other pit hole traps in the same area. Tadi yang merah bu, yang big one. So now we have to collect our end sample at the hill area by using these containers. <laughs> Let's us check the pitfall trap with tuna baits now. Now we put our end sample into this container. After that, we collect all of the pitfall trap and then bring back to the laboratory and for further identification. At the flat area, this pitfall trap with sugar baits is full with ants. Now we have to collect our ant sample near the pond area. Let's go! Contain till 70% ethanol is used to identify the species of the ants and the quantity of the ants.
So this is our result for our bait. So from the sugar bait, there is two types of ant species. From the banana bait, there is three types of ant species. For the tuna bait, there is two types of ant species. Based on the pictures, only banana baits get three types species of ants, while another two types of baits only get two types species of ants. Based on table 1, I will talk about the amount of ants that we have collected from different types of area. From the table, we can see that the amount of ants that we collected in near pond areas is zero. In the area, have many ants, but those ants are not attracted by the baits. Then in loop area, sugar attracted most ants among three types of different mates. The quantity of the ants that we collected is 148, followed by 102 ants by using tuna as a bait, and 87 ants had collected in slope area by using banana as a bait. Next, sugar attracted the most ants to the ants in flat area, followed by tuna and banana. So in conclusion, from the aspect of baits, sugar is the most favorable to ants, followed by tuna, bananas. However, different types of areas attracts different species and also amounts of ants.